want to know now. Yes. But listen, we have to be very quiet. We have to go up the back way. Outside just now. Nothing. We were just walking. Do you know that it's almost one o'clock in the morning? Yes. Nobody goes for a walk at one o'clock in the morning. Now, what were you doing? All right. Let us go upstairs and talk to Mrs. Stoddard about it. No, please don't tell him, Elizabeth. Please. Then suppose you come into the drawing room and tell me about it. I'm waiting. Well, it was nothing. We were just upstairs in my room talking. And, and David wanted to take me for a walk to show me the stars. Yes. I was going to show her the constellation of Gemini, only we can't see it from my, my room. Hmm. So you went outside, I see. Yes. And that's the whole story? Yes, it's the truth. Now, are you, are you going to tell Aunt Elizabeth? I don't know. Please don't. It'll just make her upset. And th there's really nothing to be upset about. Isn't there? No, of course not. I think there is. I think you both know more than you admit. I don't know what you're talking about, Dr. Hoffman. Suppose, suppose I prove to you that I'm on your side by agreeing not to tell Mrs. Stoddard if you will help me. Help you? How? I want you to feel free to confide in me, because I can help you. I really don't know what you're talking about. Neither do I, Dr. Hoffman. All right, the two of you can go up to your rooms. Are you going to tell Aunt Elizabeth? No, not now. Thanks a lot, Dr. Hoffman. You're a real friend. Come on, Hallie, let's go up the back way. They know so much more than they're telling. But how can I ever get them to admit it? Elizabeth, I thought you'd gone to bed. Oh, I tried to go to sleep, but I couldn't. And then I remembered something I intended to do earlier in the day. Something wrong? Elizabeth, where did you find that bust? It's been around the house for years. What made you decide to place it there? Well, I've tried it in various places, and I thought it might look best there. Why do you ask? When Barnabas and I were in the future, I was in the foyer, and that bust was there, and I was directly under it, and someone or something caused it to fall. If it had hit me, it would have killed me. I'm sorry, Julia, but I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. But don't you see? It's just another sign of what's going to happen. That bust was there in the future because you placed it there now. Julia, I think you and Barnabas are much too preoccupied with what the future holds. If you take my advice, 
You'll forget all about 1995. I believe that disaster you imagine is never going to take place. it out of one of the books Dr. Hoffman was holding. Why? Well, I, I noticed how old it was, and I saw it was signed with the letter G. I think it must have been written by Gerard. What does it say? Know ye who do not rest. In the town of Collinsport, in the dead of night, watch for the signal as, as ever before. The green flag in the window Three times shall it wave, as it did in days of yore. I don't understand a word of it. Neither do I. So I'm going to find out. David, now don't you think we've had enough for one day? You know how angry Gerard is with us. We have to do something to please him. Like what? Well, if I go to the tower and I find a green flag, I'll know I'm right. And I'll wait. And I'll wave it three times and see what happens. Well, I think you should go to your room and go to bed. Gerard is very angry with us. Don't you know what he can do when he's angry? Well, David, don't! Please don't go! David! in the window. Three times shall it wave. instructions.
me what would have happened if I'd waved the flag the third time. Gerard, please answer me! David, who are you talking to? Dr. Hoffman. What are you doing here? What are you doing here is more to the point. Now tell me, who are you talking to? Myself. I was talking to myself. You're lying, David. I heard you calling to someone. No. You can see for yourself there was nobody here. No, oh, but there was, wasn't there? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm getting out of here. No, you are not. Now, David, I know why you came here. But I don't know what you expected to find. There's no reason. There's no reason that I came here. There is a reason that you came here. You took a piece of paper out of a book in the drawing room. Yes, you did, David. I saw you do it. You didn't think I did. Maybe you just thought you saw me do it. I know what I saw. No! Let go of me! David! Yes. Yes, and I know it's the same paper because I read it before I put it into the book. I don't know what it means, but you do, don't you? No. Then why did you come up here to this room? I was just curious. And you knew you'd find the green flag here, didn't you? No, I didn't. Now, what does this flag mean, and who does it belong to? I don't know. I was just curious. Now, David, listen to me. Every day you let go by without telling me or someone else what's happening. You are in more danger. Now, don't you understand that? You must tell me everything that's been happening right now. There's nothing to tell. David, what do you know about the Java Queen? Nothing. It's just a model of a ship that I found in the attic. It's the model of a real ship that existed in the 1840s. And the captain of the ship is the man that wrote this gnome, and his name was Gerard, wasn't it? I don't know anybody named Gerard, and I never have. You have seen his spirit in this house. No! Be sensible. David, the man whose spirit you have seen is evil. He is using you and Hallie. I don't want to talk about it anymore. David! I will have to talk to your Aunt Elizabeth then. Well, go ahead! Because I don't care! Maggie, I certainly didn't expect to find you still up. I just couldn't get to sleep. Well, if something's troubling you, I wish you'd tell me. After all, we've had so little chance to talk to each other since I've returned. I know. I think I should have made a point of talking to you before this. About what? About the children. Has something happened to them? Yes. Barnabas, I am certain that something has happened to them. I don't know exactly what it is, and that's what's so frustrating. Something has happened to change them. That much I'm sure of. Well, can you describe that change? Yes. The children have become so cold and distant. They rarely, they rarely smile anymore. And they seem so uninvolved in their lessons. It's, it's almost as if they're doing the lessons for their own, my benefit, not for their own. I blame myself at oh, first. Oh, you mustn't do that. Whatever's happening to them is not your fault. Barnabas, there have been times when I've felt a kind of presence in this house. It's not something I can define, but it's made me uncomfortable. Even frightened me. It's almost as if... It's like that feeling of being watched and without knowing who it is. I felt that presence in my room tonight. That's why I couldn't sleep. I feel that presence here in this room, right now. Is it? It's a terrible thing to be frightened of something that you can't see. Oh. 
none of this. Excuse me, I, I'd like to talk to you. Well, come in, Julia. Maggie and I were just talking about the children. She tells me she's noticed a very definite change in them. Yes, I'm more concerned about them than ever. Why? I just had an unpleasant scene with David in the tower room. The tower room? What was he doing in there this time of night? He wouldn't tell me. He was very angry and left. Maggie, I think you should go and find out if he's gotten to bed. Yes, I'll do that immediately. I have a feeling that I arrived in the doorway just in time. Just in time for what? I saw you looking at Maggie's neck. Remember, she became, she almost became your victim once before. You found it very difficult to resist her. And that's why you went to parallel time. Julia, I am in complete control of myself. Now, if at any time I feel that I'm losing that control, you can be assured that I will stay away from Maggie. Believe me, she's perfectly safe. Did you get to talk to David? No, he was already asleep by the time I could get to his room. Oh, it's imperative that we get through to him. He won't listen to Barnabas and me, and I think you're the only logical choice. Julia, I'll do my best. Do you have any idea what it is that's caused this change in him? What's caused it is fear. But finding the source of that fear, that's what it's been impossible to do. But we've got to keep trying. 